All right, team, let's do our lower body exercises. These engage our hiking muscles, give us power on the race course. For these exercises, you just need a small amount of weight to make these a bit more difficult for you. Obviously, you can increase the weight as you want to. But to get started, we can even use two gallons of water. It's about 10 pounds, and this will be enough for us to get started. With some weights in your hands, let's do a forward lunge. I'm gonna start with the right foot. I'm gonna step forward just far enough that my leg goes perpendicular. Left knee is just barely touching the ground and my back is straight, and I'm stepping forward. Think about engaging all the muscles in your butt and your back of your quads. Let's step forward again. And let's switch to the other leg. Stepping forward with our left, about perpendicular there, touching that right knee down. Think about keeping your shoulders back as you're holding these weights. It's gonna keep your back aligned. This may feel like a small amount of weight, but if we focus on our balance, we're gonna properly engage all these muscle groups and we're gonna be able to build these muscles over time. Next up, we're gonna do a goblin squat. Just grab one of them here. I have my feet about shoulder width apart. And as I'm going down, I'm thinking about keeping the weight on the heels of my foot. It's gonna help me stay balanced. I'm gonna hold this just in the middle of my chest. Shoulders back. Keep your elbows in tight here. And we're going down, 90 degrees, and up. Slow down, on the way down, hold it, and then explode up. This may not seem very difficult, but as you go slowly down, it's tension on your muscle groups. And that's really good before we explode. This is gonna give us power through our roll tax. Make sure you keep your shoulders back and your lower back straight. Next up, let's do a static lunge. For this one, we're gonna start with our legs spread forward and back here. And we're gonna go down and just straight back up. As we're doing this one, you should feel like you're engaging the front of your back leg and the back part of your quad and your front leg. Think about engaging both your legs at the same time as you're coming up. It takes a bit of balance, but this is really good for our hiking muscles. And again, we wanna go slow. Slow through the motions we can gauge our muscle groups. Let's switch. I got my legs spread enough, so that way when I go down, I'm about perpendicular here, and I'm engaging both my front and my back leg for this. As I'm pushing up.
Oh, don't lose your balance there. Slow and controlled through the whole exercise. Let's do a wall sit here. So I'm gonna step far enough away from the wall that when I lean down to 90 degrees, my legs are perpendicular. Don't have them too far out or too far in. Perpendicular here, this is gonna engage our quads, make it difficult for us. So we're gonna do 30 seconds here. I'm gonna start my watch, 30 seconds. Try to keep your back flat against your surface so that way you're not leaning too far forward and having a weird angle with your back. My shoulders are back. I'm on the wall here. And you're gonna start to feel the burn pretty quick. The top of your quads here. Don't rest your hands down. Keep your hands up. It's gonna make it a little harder, but it's gonna help us grow. Keep holding here. And now we're back up. 